All right, so welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at Carvana and uh, Carvana just continues to um, have some trouble. Uh, they're going to look to cut uh, some of their uh, workforce. So by about 8% or about 1,500 employees, uh, the stock continues to have a bit of trouble. Now, um, what you're starting to see here more and more is basically the spiral effect and the tornado effect of, you know, one company's cutting, then the next, then the next, then the next. So what we're really getting is unemployment is starting to rise and this is what you'll probably start to notice because uh, you know there's a lot of companies cutting by uh, 10,000 over here 2,000 over here 500 over here you know those are some of the bigger ones um, you know but then what you'll probably also see is well maybe some companies that only have 10 employees maybe they'll cut two of them um, and you'll probably see uh, see that come out in uh, different areas. If we take a look at the, just the tech, uh, this is tech companies that have imposed major layoffs in uh, 2022. Uh, there's a lot of layoffs uh, that have happened over this last uh, year. And uh, when you kind of take a look at it, one of the big ones is Meta. I mean, they're doing this uh, metaverse thing, as you probably have heard. I, I don't think it's really anything viable. Uh, personally, at this point, maybe later on, it might develop into something useful. But they did cut about, um, you know, 11,000 employees. So uh, that's pretty significant. Um, then as we continue to take a look further, uh, Twitter cut about um, 3,700 employees. Uh, you know, Elon Musk is on a firing spree. Amazon's cutting about uh, 10,000 employees worldwide. You've got Lyft cut about 700 employees. This is a 13%. So 700 employees, 13% uh, is quite quite a lot. Um, Stripe cut about um, 1,100 employees. That's 14% of its workforce. Uh, so, I mean, imagine they're cutting like quite heavy. It's not like, hey, we're laying off 50 people uh, or we're laying off 1%. This is huge. Um, Redfin cutting 862 employees or 13%. Salesforce cut hundreds of employees. Um, so yeah, ultimately, and Microsoft's 1,000 employees. That's, uh, you know, not too big for Microsoft because they have 221,000 employees. Robinhood, 23% of the employees are cut. I mean, imagine you're trying to be lean with the company and Coinbase 1,100. So a lot of these companies are uh, definitely cutting and laying uh, people off and Carvana is no different. Now Carvana has had even more major trouble here. I mean, the stock was uh, around 376, almost $400 a share. And now you're uh, you're down into uh, the gutter with this stock. I mean, you think you're down into uh, the seven dollar range. So if we take a look at it here, we got uh, seven dollars and eighty four cents. Tesla right now is moving at uh, one seventy eight. Uh, Ford at 1389 and Lucid at about 1121. So as we take a look at this, you know, right now Carvana, and uh, we're just checking it out. Uh, you can see uh, we're right there, right around, uh, yeah, moving 787 or so, uh, 786. So it, it's struggling. If you look at the weekly chart, uh, you basically just, you know, got hammered here uh, from the top. It just keeps going down, 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 down. Some people even say uh, the stock could go down into the uh, the dollar range. So um, that's definitely uh, definitely could be a, a problem for the company. And I think there's more bad news to follow. And you see the big spiral effect, what's happening with a lot of these uh, tech companies and just companies in general. They continue to you know cut more and more employees. And that's just a mess and whirlwind tornado for um, basically unemployment starting to rise and uh, could be some problem economic economically um, here in the foreground. So anyway, um, there's there's things to watch out for in the, in this case for trading. I definitely would stay away for, from uh, companies that are struggling like this. If you're looking for long term investing, uh, you know, sticking to more reliable stocks, companies that you know have a good solid base. Like look at Microsoft; they didn't really cut that much. Not saying Microsoft's a, a buy or anything right right away or immediately, but I'm saying they can weather the storm, and that's what these companies are trying to do when they're cutting. Um, jobs and cutting employees is they're, they're trying to weather the storm for the long haul. So anyways, um, we'll see how this all uh, progresses over the next year. But ultimately, there there's a lot of struggle here with a lot of these uh, layoffs and so forth. Um, you know, because a lot of them are, are trying to save their their bottom line, and they're trying to keep some capital in the business. So that way, they'll be able to survive uh, in the longer haul. And that's what they need to kind of do. So Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to grab some freebies here on our uh, website. Uh, visit tradersfly.com or check the description uh, below. And you can definitely um, uh, pick up some uh, goodies for trading options and also one-on-one um, -on -one coaching and mentoring. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.